Hello. The world is going through a very challenging uh, phase, which we never faced in our life, because of this COVID-19 pandemic, which is killing uh, thousands of people all around the world, and more than 20 lakh people have been already affected, infected by this uh, coronavirus. Uh, India is also being completely locked down uh, for 21 days, and our honourable Prime Minister has extended this lockdown up to 3rd of May. And most of the industries and business, they have been severely affected and education uh, sector is not an excuse to this. The lockdown was announced uh, at the mid of the semester on 15th of March and we could hardly complete only the 50% of the curriculum. And the challenge in front of our teacher was to complete the remaining curriculum and uh, very proud to say that our teachers have quickly adopted themselves to the digital mode of teaching learning and our students uh, join them by giving an overwhelming response. Initially, there were some issues with uh, the availability of network and other things, but soon the students uh, solved those issues, and uh, now 100% of our students are connected with the faculty, and the teaching learning is going on smoothly, and it will continue to 30th of April as was scheduled in the academic calendar. Uh, the teachers are conducting uh, uh, lectures through webinars, through their create own uh, developed MOOCs, through assignments, through PPTs, through discussions, and uh, many various other modes. Some, some of the literature is also being shared by the faculty with the students. And uh, mm, uh, they are using various digital platforms, like our Vishwakarma Institute, Vishwakarma Online Learning Platform, which we call VOLP. Uh, there's another uh, platform, VIERP, Vishwakarma Institute uh, ERP. And they are also using uh, Zoom and uh, Google Hangouts and other uh, such uh, medias to connect with the students. And the students and faculty, they are regularly meeting each other on this uh, digital media to, uh, to con continue the curriculum and the teaching learning process. Uh, the assessment is concerned, the assessment we have not, we are not changing anything in the assessment pattern. In VIT, VIT is an autonomous institute. For every course, the assessment is 360 degrees. There are various components. One is the mid-semester theory examination, uh, the lab assignments, uh, the course seminar, the course group discussion, the course home assignment, the course project, uh, the course viva, and the course end semester theory examination. Out of that, 35% which was supposed to be completed up to the mid-semester examination or the mid-semester part up to 14th of March, that has been already conducted. Uh, the mid-semester theory examination, the lab assignment, and the course seminar, they have been already con conducted and 35 marks assignment, uh, assessment of the student has already been done. 30% of the assessment, 30% ass of the marks of the assessment, which is continuous assessment based on course project, home assignment, and group discussions, the students are doing this and the faculty are conduct uh, and uh, are correcting these assignments regularly through this digital mode. The remaining 35% of the assessment, which has two components, the semester theory exam and the course viva OSE, comprehensive CVV, uh, is to be conducted. And we will be conducting it as if uh, it would have been conducted otherwise, if this pandemic has not uh, uh, resulted into lockdown. And uh, we are not compromising any of the rigor, the schedule, the calendar, everything is same. And thanks to our students and the teacher and also the parents who equally responded and expressed their satisfaction and happiness uh, over what we, the, what, the way which VIT is conducting the teaching, learning and the assessment. The exams are, uh, as per our calen academic calendar, the teaching learning was supposed to end on 30th of April and it will end on 30th of April. And we are on track, we are conducting a feedback also from the students uh, about their experience of uh, digital learning. And the examinations were supposed to be started from 2nd of May, but this time as a special case, we have given them uh, some time to prepare and the exams will start on 10th of May with the theory and semester examination and the CBB. And external examiners from industry and other academic institutes like IIT will be involved in this assessment and they will be jointly conducting the viva of the students on Zoom and uh, other platforms. Some, in some cases, external cases, the mobile phones were also, will also be used. And we are very confident that uh, even though the pandemic has posed many challenges, we will be victorious in terms of conducting the academics of our, of our student. Uh, so, I really hats off to all of our students and the faculty for showing this extraordinary uh, commitment to the uh, to the teaching community to the teaching uh, fraternity and the teaching process 
and uh, to the education in general. Uh, I also uh, wish that uh, you all remain safe at home and uh, please follow all the uh, hygiene norms, guidelines given by the health authorities, uh, also the social distancing norms. Stay at home, stay blessed, stay safe, take care of your near and dear ones. I pray to the Almighty Lord uh, that please, please end this pandemic at the earliest so that we can restart the whole world again. Uh, many people are suffering, I know and we all are aware of it uh, so let this pandemic end at the earliest and we hope some good news by or before the end of may so once again uh, uh, wish you all a good luck and uh, uh, with a lot of prayers uh, to the lord uh, to help all of us and save all of us from this uh, great uh, uh, the problem we are facing and uh, Thanks to our students and faculty and I wish good luck to our students uh, that they perform well and be ready to be employed by the industry and be industry ready. Thank you so much.